Good morning, YouTube. It's me again. Um, I know it's been a while and I haven't done an everyday makeup routine yet, so I'm going to show you today. And it's going to be featuring the Charlotte Tilbury um, Sculpt and Highlight Palette that I had mentioned in my Instagram. So this is my face with foundation. So I'm going to go and do a run through of everything. And if I'm not looking directly at the camera, it's because I have a little mirror here. Um, it's my first time doing it, so please excuse me or leave a comment on um, ways I can improve or what to include in it. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and start. And first I'm starting off with um, my 100% Pure Eye Cream. It smells really good. It smells like, like cookie dough, but I just use very, very little because a little goes a long way. That's how much I use. I just warm it up on the tips of my fingers and then I just pat it on t under my eyes. I don't really have an issue with um, dark eye circles, but it just makes it look more awake and it just pulls everything together with the whole finished makeup look. So after that, I prime my eyelids with Too Faced shadow insurance um this one's in this one doesn't have any color it's like a yellow base so i really like it it's almost like a sheer concealer so also just a little bit here and then we're just gonna warm it up and i just put this on my eyelids i don't really put any on the bottom of um or underneath my eyes i feel like that usually smudges my mascara um, but later I'll show you how I um, prevent that okay done next is the makeup forever ultra HD um, concealer and I've, I like this because I have too much of it so like so and I just also dab it go underneath my eyes and you can do the, the triangle drag it down I don't do it too dramatic because I just like it very natural so like you see it's pretty light and then I also put a little bit on the corners of my nose and on the bridge of my nose that's where there's a little bit more redness around here and then it's great to use your fingers to warm it up on your face. Later, I'll use a brush to kind of blend it all out. Okay, and I also use where's this brush? the MAC 287 to kind of get in the corners of this. So all of that is seamless. So just like that. And then what's next? And then I'll go into using my Laura Mercier uh, Secret Brightening Powder in number one. So it's a little bit wider. There's, uh, I believe, number two, which is a little bit of uh, yellow... Um, uh, tone to it, so I just use this. I tap it a little bit onto the cap So it's just like that you don't need too much and then I'll go ahead and use my damp beauty blender Let's go ahead and use the tip just dab into it And this is to set the concealer I just applied I don't use too much or bake too much um, just because it's really drying underneath my eyes and underneath your eyes that your skin is very very thin and delicate so it's good to be very gentle around that area okay so that's done so what else okay now going into eyeshadow I use the I don't even know MAC 217 yeah, MAC 217. If it, I used it so long ago that it's 
faded, but it still works and I really like it. Um, but first off, I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC 287 and use my Naked 3 palette, which you all have probably heard about. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here as just a base. like that. It's very light. I mean, it's just to make everything um, a little bit more even. Alright, what's next? Okay, so now we're going to use the brush I mentioned, 217, MAC 217. Um, and if you don't have this brush, you need to get this. It's just a brush that you can use all the time. And then the next shade I'm going to use is Nooner. It's just a pretty like uh, mauve color, light mauve color. It kind of has a little bit of a brown tone too. And then I'm just going to go in here in the crease and just blend it in. And already it's forming a little bit more depth into my eyes. So I just did maybe like I just jab into the powder. I don't even swipe it. It's because I like it very minimal and enough to show up. So just blend it back and forth. Like that windshield wiper movement. And just like that, you already have some definition for both your eyeballs. Okay. Next two shades I'm going to combine are Liar and Factory. These two. Just jab one and twice. Very light handed and just go into the crease like that. And then same for the other side. It's actually harder than it looks with the little mirror. Well, I don't have all the equipment, but this will make do. Okay, that's good. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, and then going back, we're going to take Nooner, same one here, underneath, uh, in the eye, under eye, under eye, eye, yeah, under eye. And line it with Nooner um, with the MAC 214 brush. This is great to get into close to the waterline, but not really. Just This is to kind of balance out the bottom as well because you're applying it on top. So this is why it gives it some like shadow. And there you go. See already it made it more even. Um, okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the MAC um, Joy Toy. This is one of the foiled shadows. It was part of like the very pretty. It, I like to use it dry because it's already so shimmery. I go ahead and use the MAC 239 and I just dab it here a few times and then I just pat it right on top of my lid. So this is just to make my lid stand out a little bit more because the other was were um, mostly matte. Nooner was matte and then Liar and Factory are a little bit shimmery but not as shimmery as this. So this will definitely give it a, a pop. And just put it right on the lid. I don't really put it anywhere else. Sometimes in the inner corners. Okay, there we go. Then we go ahead and line the waterline with Max Teddy Eye Coal. Okay, it's just like a brown, shimmery brown. Um, but I like it because it's light and it's not as dark as um black eyeliner and just gives off a softer look. It's 
since I'm really fair skinned and right now the sun's being a bit shy and it's a little cloudy it's about maybe 60 to 70s today so I don't know I like the sun a lot so I'm just hoping it'll show up a little later and then going back to the Naked 3 palette I'm going to use a darker shade called um, Black Heart right here here on the side and then I'm going to go back and take my MAC 214 brush and just dip it once and then just set the Teddy eyeliner so it kind of makes it a little richer um, because later on in the day this tends to um, the Teddy eyeliner itself it tends to just fade away because my eyes sometimes get really oily or they um, get very watery so that's why I do that and then I'll go back and take the oh sorry I scared myself a little curler here wanted to run away um, what's it called see I lost my train of thought um, yes but I wanted to blend it all back so I added that darker shade so I'm just going to blend it back up here just so it gives it that a little bit of a like a darker shade up here. It's not as um, light compared to the bottom. Alright and now I'm going to do the bronzer and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm just going to take my um, Morphe brush in G7 I'm just going to go ahead and tap it a few times and I'm just going to apply it up here on my cheeks it's very subtle but it gives you that sun kiss glow and for fair to medium skin type so don't expect it to be like one you can contour with I mean it could be but I think it's too light but it gives you that glow it has some sort of shimmer I don't know shimmer but you can build on this so if you feel like you want more that day um, can definitely apply more um, but it gives you a slight like you know bronzy look not like that muddy or like hey you know I've been in the sun not really kind of look um, but it's just very light and you can pair this with um, you know blush on top and then the highlighter it does come with the highlighter it's not as strong as like the Becca ones um, those are more like whoa like it's right there um, if you go a little heavy-handed but this you can definitely build on and Go ham with it okay it's kind of darker here so I don't even know how much I'm putting on but it's okay because it'll be fine after we're done with the full face and then before we go into highlighting we're going to use this oh my gosh this Becca luminous um, blush in snapdragon I also have it in blush copper and I've been using blush copper all last week and I love it because it's just so pigmented but I'm going ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and use the it brush um, that has the highlight and define. Um, I know this is for highlighting, but I use it for blush because it just places the blush in the right place, and it gives you that pop of color. So here it looks scary, right? It's like, bam! But you know, it actually doesn't show up like that on your cheeks very subtle it's almost like a coral like curl color and I just tap it right here and I like that sheer um, touch of color just so right on my cheeks you don't need too much because you don't want to end up looking like a clown and with these ones you have to be extra careful um, because if you go too heavy-handed you might look like a clown <laughs> especially if you're fair skin if you're darker like 
darker um, skin tone, then you don't have to be too worried. So I have that on, which is very, very subtle, which I like. Sometimes, you know, I accidentally might apply too much, but just actually dab your brush into the blush and then you're good. And just pat it on your, your cheeks. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead with my Sephora fan brush in 65 and I like to keep these covers just to maintain the shape um, of the brush and I'm going to go ahead into this palette again and go ahead and grab some of that highlight then put it right here and go into underneath my brow bone and you can already see it's very subtle, but at least there's something. And this is meant to be very subtle, not like bam, like the um, other highlighters out there. But this is more for subtle. Like every day, I just want a little bit of a glow kind of look. And that's what I actually really like about this palette. You can just build on it from day to night or add on a little bit more wherever you feel like you need a little bit more um, glow and then okay going back to the eye makeup sorry I've kind of went on my face and the eye or eyes face eyes okay but we'll go back with the Stila all day or stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner. This is the bomb. Um, let me just tell you because I've used the Kat Von D one in Trooper, and I don't know, it's not as soft as the tip as this one. And I before I kind of had mixed thoughts. I like Kat Von D more because it was more stiff, but this one I actually like it because of that felt tip. And oh, I just been using this um, for a while, so I'm just gonna line the top of my. Yes, sorry I can't talk when I'm doing that because I know I'll mess up. <laughs> okay, so other eye too. So like so, and I always end up liking my left eye more than my my right. I don't know why, it just always happens that way. Okay. Okay, then we're good. And it's okay if it's not even. Um, when you apply mascara, everything will come together. So no need to freak. Out. Let's see. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and use my eyelash curler. This is the Shiseido one. It's it's great. It's great for my eye shape. I've tried other ones, um, but this seems to be the best. So just go ahead and curl them lashes. So I've been told I have pretty long lashes, which I am fortunate <laughs> to say. Um, so not a lot of effort needed when um, to build it up. Um, Bashi Nordstrom's was having a sale, a mascara madness sale, like I believe a few weeks ago. And it was buy two, get one free. And I went crazy because I was in this mascara phase. Um, but I had purchased three. Let me show you which three. 
So one was the YSL Shocking um, Mascara. The other was the Dior um, Iconic Overcurl. And then the last one was the Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy. I have another one already here um, as backup because, I mean, that deal I couldn't pass up on. It was just, you know, you can never have too much mascara. So... Let's see which one I'm going to use. Some of them I've had issues where this kind of stung my eye. I mean, made my eyes watery and it was a little sting stinging um, towards the end of the day. This one too, I think because it has a nice scent, but I don't know if that's what's irritating my eyes. This one is good too. I don't know, maybe it's just me because I just get watery eyes. It does just sting a little when I start touching it or something or touching my eyes in general um but they all are really nice um this one's very um it builds up a lot of volume and it holds up the curl this one too um but it could get a little bit clumpy so you have to kind of just apply it and that's it or use like a brush to comb it all out this one's nice this one's very um I don't know, I never really had any problems with this one, so maybe I'll go with this one today, just because I haven't used it in a while. But it's a red wand, which is kind of cool, and this is what the brush looks like. And I'm just going to apply that. And it's very thin, you can build this, definitely build this one up, but it definitely separates. And I guess the lady at the counter mentioned that it was comparable to YSL and it's better. Um, but I think they're both very different, so I don't know. So that's the mascara. So already it's, it's separating all my lashes and it's getting every one of them has a little bit of um, volume too. Okay. So that's the mascara and to finish it up I realized I did not do my brows. Girl, how can you forget the brows? Well they're already um, microbladed but of course I like to add a little bit of warmth because after you microblade your um, your brows and you apply makeup, sometimes it kind of um, faints out the color, so the warmth in it is not there. Um, so I just use my um, Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. This has been the one that I've always been using, and then I just go in and fill in wherever I feel that's a little bit sparse or needs a little bit more um, warmth. Oh, I don't need too much, which is awesome after the um, the pr procedure. And it just helps fill in everything. And my skin's pretty dry around there, so maybe a lot of it, um, a lot of the color from the microbiting um, experience, it, um, it faded a little bit, but it's okay, it's still there. Your brows don't always look amazing, but it's okay because there's products like these that will help. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this bully and just comb it out. And usually I set with the brow, uh, brow gel, but sometimes I like the darker look of the brows. Sometimes after I put the brow gel, it kind of softens it a little too much. But, I mean, I like the look of it right now. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? This is pretty much, um, you know what? I forgot to add a little bit to the nose for the highlight just to pull everything together. Sorry, I'm all like scattered all over the place. Maybe I'm nervous about doing this for you guys and I just keep forgetting things. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and a little bit more and then right underneath my brow. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. I 
think we're good. So, lips I usually don't do until like later. I usually just grab, you know, something from my purse. But for the sake of this purpose, I'm going to do something for you guys. And I'm going to use the Anastasia uh, liquid lipstick in Crush. This one's really pretty. Um, I saw a Sephora um, sales. Um, lady she was like um wearing this um it was so pretty on her I'm not gonna do it all perfect and everything but this does the job and it completes the look so what do you guys think this is what I usually do or been doing the past like week or so um, but let me know your thoughts what I can um, improve for you guys or what you want me to see for the next video feel free to comment down below sorry this video is very long but I just wanted to give you a thorough overview and I'll also list the products down below so you guys can explore on your own and test it out on your own all these products were purchased um, by myself and feel free to um, make any suggestions. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.